Good morning and welcome to the channel. I just got back from a couple of places in town and picked up a few things for the remodel. Let's check it out. Oh, that's $400. Plus some 2x4s that are in the truck. I got my outlet boxes. We've got the vent hood. The vent hood stuff. The vent. Outlets. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Got my wire for my lighting and then the outlets, various covers. I got a new breaker because this line that goes to the outlets in the kitchen is uh, on a 30 amp breaker. And I'm not going to run 12 2 wire with a 30 amp breaker. Uh, that, that yellow one there, the 12 2, that is a switch, so that's fine, but you can't run, you shouldn't run 12 2 wire with a 30 amp breaker. But you can run the 10-2 on a 20 amp breaker. So I'm going to take that apart, change that into a junction box, run my light uh, wiring for my lighting. I think what I'm going to do is put one of the recessed lights there, one there, and then there's six of them. Uh, that'll be three, four, and five. We'll figure a way to get them down here. So I need to get the rest of this wood loose. Get that junky ceiling fan down. I'm tossing that. The fan works with the light burnout. Yes, you can get the new kits, but I'm going to get another fan. Uh, that one's never been quite right. And it's just kind of out of balance and stuff, but it needs to get an, I need to put a new one in and uh, we'll get this wall built. And all I'm going to do here is at this point, I'm going to start right here and come straight down. So what that'll do is just square this wall up. No more wall needs to be built. So I'll just come out from there and go straight up to there. And then we'll have a nice square wall here. So I can put a monitor or whatever I need to do on it. And then I'm just, once I get my boxes and all my electrical run, then I can start putting, I can put the sheetrock up here. And I need to finish tearing this down and do this up a little better. Now this is a big support beam, so it has to stay uh for the loft so i'm gonna just it's all gonna look like one wall when i'm done fortunately it lines up with that so shouldn't be a problem i need to get that metal off there and uh i'm just gonna i've got the the mud and everything i'm just gonna sheetrock it and paint it and then it will be framed in cedar so we're not giving up all the cedar now, i've got a few things in mind so for now i just need to get this wall built here and then now this vent hood is white and I wanted it black so I got this and I have an idea where I am not gonna have to change this stove wire just hold on I gotta research this but I got an idea something I've been wanting to do anyway because if I have to run new wire I've got to tear all that in the office back apart it is not going to be easy to run it and it's got to go i got to tear all that apart so i can feed it back down but definitely the ceiling would have to be tore up so but i have an idea just hang on hang on let me let me research it real quick and then if it if it'll work i'll do it all right i did my research and i was right imagine that here's what i'm going to do guys that stove i'm getting rid of it I ain't replacing any electrical lines because I knew that they had them. They do. This is just the first one I've looked at. But here on Amazon, now I'll probably buy it local if they have it local. They have the ceramic cooktops. Just the tops. I don't use the oven anyway. And it's 110 volt. It pulls 800 watts. I looked at the specs. So, if anything, I'd leave the wire in place. Okay, 800 watts is what it'll pull. That's probably one burner. I don't know. But you can run it off 110 volts. I'd probably put in a 30 amp breaker, which is already there. And I'll just replace the 50 with the 30, and we're good. So, there's the answer to that. And let's go in here to the kitchen. It might be a little messy. I don't know. So, this can be gone. I can make a whole counter here with storage space underneath. It won't be that come out this far. And I'll modify this if I have to and just have that flat cooktop. That's all I need anyway. 
I don't never use the oven. I use my toaster oven down there. So that answers that saves me money because that countertop, that stove top is less than the wire would cost me. So let me turn a light on. So that's going to save me money and I don't, and a lot less work. Now I wouldn't be afraid to do the work, but and in the future, if anybody buys the place I croak or something, I'm going to remove that stove outlet and they'll have to investigate that. You know, if I'm around to tell them I will, but they won't know any different. They'll think, Oh, well, we've got to run stove wire now. So yeah, but I don't use the oven, so that's going to work. That's going to save me time. I don't have to worry about running new stove wire. It'll run off the existing wire that's in there. We just put a regular outlet in there with a probably a 30 amp outlet because they do have different outlets and it'll be a dedicated 30 amp on a 30 amp breaker. See, if you just think hard enough, you can come up with easier solutions and that's going to look better. And I'm still going to have to, I'll probably if I can order a white one, then I won't have to paint this. Uh, I could have probably got a black one if I'd have went to Fort Smith. But I wanted to get this local so I could get on this today. And possibly get the electrical run and get this thing rolling. Because I don't like my house being a construction zone. Although most of the time it looks that way. Alright, let me uh, clear some of this stuff out. And let's get... Let's start running some electrical, I think. Well, now let's get the wall built first. Let's get this wall built and then this wall built. All right. All right, I'm going to cut this piece of sheetrock out here. Get these foam pool noodles, whatever those things are, out of my way. I think since there's so many holes and everything in this, when I, I'm going to get, when I start sheetrocking, I'm just going to put. Two new pieces right over top of it. Uh, I'll have to remember that when I do my outlet. Account for the thickness. Still got to cut that gas ho gas line off. But right now, hopefully, my marks here are correct. And let's see, there's the line. Yeah, as long as it's close. Right, let me cut this out. I don't need no stinking line. Boy, that's straight as an arrow. I just looked at him and I turned the other cheek. Amish Paradise, Weird Al Yankovic. Check it out. Need no copyrighted music, I make my own music. Well, that kind of went off the beaten path. I think we can manhandle it from here. Give me something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I know it's supposed to break the other way. Uh, don't want to slip. Oh, it's hitting up there. Well, I'll fix that. Well, how am I supposed to get in there? Break it, I will. I don't care. Doesn't mean nothing to me. I just 
gotta get it past you. That screws in my way. Uh, how do I get anything done? That fell. Put that in the old memory banks. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. It's insulated. That looks like some old blood. I ain't no telling. Alright. Let's see what we got on going on. Oh, there was electric in there. That's the stove. And the kitchen. Alright. Alright, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap these up. I'm gonna wrap that up real good. I do have some leftover insulation from the build in there on the building. So I'm gonna see if I can't get the other ladder. Problem is I can't get all the way up in there. It's you know, I think the foam board would be better because it's stiffer and I can just shove the whole thing in there. Uh but I can pack some of that loose insulation around up in these eaves here or in this corner. Uh, and I won't ever have that freezing problem again. The other problem was these are not on the outside of the insulation. So that's why they're freezing. So I may try to weasel some of that foam board back here. There's enough. Oh, them ladybug things, man. They're everywhere. I'll put some foam board back behind here. I'll take this whole strip out. Uh, actually, it only goes down. Yeah, I'll have to take the whole piece of it off, but... Let me get this all tore apart. That has been my, uh, I've been wanting to get this done for years. Because they always have to leave the faucet dripping and that's why. Because there is nothing, that's the exterior of the house right there. So it's, it's getting really cold. Uh, let me get busy on the rest of it. Alright. I'm going to try to run a piece of insulation up there as far as I can reach, which is only here because the loft floor starts right there. So it's, hey, if I can get it just in that part, that's better. I already got the uh, the foam wrapped around my pecs. So now we just gonna crawl up here. Let me get some of this junk out of my way. Come with me, little brand new piece of insulation. I've got to wrestle you up in there somehow, some way. Okay, let's start. It don't get me itchy. Let's fold you high up. Like such. Hey now. There you go. Now you're talking. That's as far as it doesn't go much further than that anyway. Alright. Work. Hey! Work this around this electrical wire. Pull it back out. go now that's gonna help well that did all right I don't care I don't even need to staple that that's good enough okay that's the main part I wanted protected anyway so I kind of pulled it back real good it's covered but I'm also uh, I didn't get enough of this stuff I move you I'm always looking up at the stuff. <laughs> Ah, that stuff. Oh. <coughs> Let me cut some pieces. Put over those. Uh, I'm also going to raise them up a little bit so I can access them better. Probably would not be a bad idea to replace those fittings while I'm in there because they're 10 years old, almost. So I think I have some of them around here. So in case I do or don't, I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. This is going to be open for a while because I ain't done. I got to run my electrical. And that electrical is going to be pretty easy. There's my line that goes into the kitchen. So I'll cut that there. And then I can run my outlets off of that. Rather than have to do a junction box, which is a lot easier. 
So let me put these, and I have to get some more of this foam for this. I want to go ahead and cover this at least to this point because this it gets cold up in there. We're not going to need it this year, man. It's I looked all the way into March. We're in, I don't think we'll be lucky to have another freeze, but I know better. Let me wrap this dude. Yeah, this ain't gonna work for that. Uh, I'll come up with something else for this. But there is room to move these up and down. I could get these off if I need to. They don't. There should. They should last for 25 years or more. All right. All right. That's about all I can do in there. Now I need to start on my wall. Do some framing. All righty then. All right, here's the lights I'm putting in. Uh, they're made by Roland, a company called Roland Light. And I still, I'm going to do a review, a full review on this. Uh, but I'm just showing you now what they look like. Look how thin them dudes are. And these are cool, man. It's got a night light and stuff on them. The, the, actually, they're, that's two of them right there. They're much thinner. So those will easily, if I have the metal... I can just easily put them up there. Of course, I need a spot to put the box that that these will connect with. Each one of them will have this box. So that will have to go up in there somewhere. So I, if I got to punch a hole in there and shove them in, I'll do that. There's probably enough spots. But these are the lights I'm putting in. More than enough. There are six of them. God, I wish I had 12 of them. Because I'm going to put these in the building too. So that's what we're out there rolling tonight. Give them a free plug. Booty, booty, booty. All right, let's get this tore apart. All of this is going to be replaced. All this cedar, all these walls in here, is going to be to be determined what color. I don't know. I'm most likely, I'm, that's why I'm taking all this off. I'm most likely going to rebuild this whole wall here. That wasn't doing much good, was it? Uh, I had that off before for some reason. But I am doing away with all the metal that's on the walls. It will be on the ceiling, but not on the walls. Guys, when I, when I did a lot of this work, it was a budget thing. I did things a certain way to save money. Materials did not cost like what they do nowadays. So I made up a lot of stuff. And, you know, now I can afford to, you know, I got a little bit extra to do it right. Do it the way I really want it. So that's what we're doing. It worked for a while. What is this? Oh, it's on one of them square bits. Ah, oh, use all kinds of different screws. Phillips will work. I got T20s. I got Phillips. I've got Hex. Oh, I got everything. If I had a dollar every time I relocated that picture, well, I'd be a billionaire. All right, what do we need now? Crowbar. And we're going to take this metal off. I won't film that whole process. But I'll come back when it's all bare naked. I like a naked wall. Yes, sir. Okay, this wall is stripped. Yeah, the wall looks uh, 16 on center. Uh, I guess I did it right. Yes, sir. So that'll be easy to work with. Uh like to strengthen that up a little before I put the sheetrock back on it. And that switch will have to be eliminated because actually I might leave it because that way I'll, I'll put another switch here where I can turn on all these lights. Probably just uh, have these two on a separate switch and then that can control the lights that I'm putting up in here. Alright, I guess there's no sense in starting on electrical or any of that till everything has been 
demolished. I mean, by taking this, all this down. I'm debating on this wall. I think I may leave this wall alone. I don't know yet. Uh, you know, we got still got to keep it. I, that don't look too bad. So I may leave that alone. If you know, can always pull it off later. And that that has to go. So I don't know. That really can't go because I built that cabinet over it. I don't, we'll just, just, let's just deal with this, the ceiling, get this office done, get that framed in, get that framed in, get the stove out of here, get the, the other one ordered. I'm going to probably go Monday to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and see if I can find it locally. Get this out of here, give it away, whatever, and uh, then I may get some cabinets in a new countertop let's get it all done all at once and get it over with well what do you think went crazy didn't i it's a work in progress you sure got the demolition down yeah but right. yeah hey these these are cool have you shown them yet yeah can i, I show them yeah yeah look how thin those things are and then this this rim here also has a light in it it's a night light so you I can can't. choose different, not different colors, but different shades. It has different shades. Like daylight yeah. or, you know, whatever, uh, yep. within the white yellow spectrum. And then these are like a nightlight you can use. Yeah, these I'll get really to, I got to cool. do a review on them. So when I get them put in, I'll do that as well. But yeah, I'm going to, I got rid of all that. It's just too, it was too dark in here, you know, and I've always had problems with this. So now I'm fixing that. There was, that was behind the insulation with none of that foam on there so that's so why it was you, freezing yeah you had to worry about stuff freezing yep. so you needed to get at it anyway yep so yeah dual purpose well yeah this is just all gonna be probably sheetrock painted that color that's like a a tan color but it'll still be brighter than that so are you gonna texture it no that went out with the spadooch that yeah. the dogs are wearing out there. So yeah, they don't know yeah. what a spadooch is, but Millie Tilly's wearing one right now. All right. <clears throat> well, wow, and that's the old ceiling too. Yeah, yeah. I would cover that up too. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be all covered in metal. Same way, I'll have these strips so them lights will pop right up in there. I just the strips will be better, straighter. That one's crooked as hell. So, <laughs> all right, just stop by. All right, it's Rooster's dinner time. I had to heat it up for precisely 12 seconds. The Caesars are cut in little ch chunks in a circle with her nature's own gravy chicken mess in the middle. There's, you just can't feed a rooster any which way. Come on, rooster. I prepared it the way you prefer. Well, she doesn't like to be watched when she's eating. She's inspecting it. She'll always start on that first and lick all the gravy. She says, do you mind? All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to probably take a break and start pulling this off. It takes forever. Three, six, there's like nine screws in each one of them. Some, the long, yeah, these are all short boards, so they should go pretty quick. So be a few weeks on this so you guys be sure to watch hey man if you want hit subscribe like i don't care but i gotta sit down get me a big old glass iced tea and rest happy trails